Okay, good, it is on. Actually, you can bring this down. Huzzah. All right, I'm pumped to do this. I'm pumped to get this done. I'm pumped to get this thing done. So ready. Oh, it'll still be a chore though. Because I don't have to unpack this. Don't have to unpack this tote. Completely, but I do have to get some stuff all set up to the side. Na, 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 na. Being honest, I should probably throw away one of these Super Nintendos. Probably the one that's. Anyway. Uh. I think it was no GTX. GTX 560 or whatever that is. Old video cards they don't need anymore. Anyway, old computer parts they no longer need. My attempted pawning. I should start recording. Recording. Uh, gotta be nicer to these boxes. Because I know that box is worth some serious dosh. Getting out all these game boxes and leaving everything else behind. Alright, that was something I was gonna do. Oh, let's see, throw this. only had that few CDs. I'm going to throw that away. Uh, these are cables I don't even need to hang on to. I don't even want the bag. I'm just going to throw that whole thing. Uh, an old fan to throw away. Oh, it's an HDMI to HDMI mini. Hi, Nara. Hey. Bitch. I should keep that wire out, actually. I could use an HDMI mini. Let's see. Don't even know why I would need this, but I'm going to hang on to it. This is extraneous stuff going through. Oh, hey, an extra SATA cable. This does me nothing. Uh, n not much, Nair. Actually, I'll still hang on to it because it's uh, one of those things. Not much, man. It's the last day of unpacking. Today is the day I'm going to finish everything. But, of course, a lot of it is going to involve... Today is going to involve putting these, these games back in their cases. And if it is a DS game... Hey, look, a DS game. If it is a DS game has a Game Boy Advance game. Really? You had to go to my darkest background right then? If it is a DS game, I can put I can put a Game Boy Advance game in there too. This is Kingdom Hearts Recoded, by the way. Uh, cabling for the 360, I know I won't need. Oh God, will I never need it. It's S-Video. Toss that shit. the two times listen listen man 
I didn't have a PlayStation until like two years ago, so I basically bought everything that was on the Nintendo ones. Uh, we're keeping those. I don't need this. I don't need this for the Wii at all anymore. Considering I'm throwing things out, let's just continue to try and throw things out I know I will not need. Uh, I think this is supposed to be a glow-in-the-dark ducky. Kind of is, but again, I don't care. I have so much stuff in here I just don't even need anymore. Uh, spare mouse pad. That I'm not going to use because the hard mouse pad. Look at me go! Okay, I still have the Sega Genesis in here, so I'm not going to throw that out. Ah. The only CD I saved from my... The only CD I really hung on to... My Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Smashing soundtrack. Featuring red and blue. Like the only CD I ever hung on to. I gotta put that up on display actually. Somewhere. Because easy collector item. Uh, is that another SATA cable? That is. Let's see. How do I have... Why do I have my cousin's original RF thing for PlayStation? I'm not going to need this anymore. If I need one bad enough, I can get it. Uh, this is a power brick for something random. And that. And a NES transceiver. Ducks to throw away. Throwing out all the ca throwing out all the cable or coaxial ones. Okay. So I know what this goes to. There's this blank 3DS case. This is for Star Fox 3D. Star Fox 64 3D. Also, I might be encroaching on your field of view shortly. Oh boy. Sorry, I'm just looking at an old pic. I'm just looking at an old picture that I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep this old picture, but I'm not going to share it because there's pictures of many people that I despise. Hey, look, a lanyard. That's utter trash. I feel no need to hang on the lanyards. Oh, hey, look, a spare computer cord. I feel. I don't want to actually have picture. I actually don't want to show a picture of those people because a they suck and b they still suck. Ha ha. Ah, I'm good. What do you feel, my good man? Don't feel me. I will cry. I should say it was my, uh, th these were, uh, my graduating class that, I mean, I've said it before, but no surprise to anybody really for the most part. What the fuck? It? Oh my God. Well, I got to keep it, but oh my God. Uh, pretty much I was the kid that was picked on. 
Like I was the kid. I was the kid that, that received all of the bullying in uh, back in grade schools. You know, ju- elementary and junior high. I was the one that was bullied, so I pretty much hated most of my graduating class. And then freshman year, suddenly everybody was cool with me. Still haven't figured that one out. Oh, the thing that I just went, oh god, why? I'm not gonna take it out, but this is the original RAM stick for 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 my N64. I have an expansion pack in there because of Donkey Kong 64, but here's the original RAM stick. Why I'm still holding on to it, I could not tell you. But Nera, you're cool with me. As long as you give money. Yeah. Nope, that's a throw. Oh god. I should just throw this out. This will not work and I will never use the thing this goes with. Welcome to how you played Game Boy like a cool kid. I should probably take the batteries out. There are no batteries in here. So here's how you played game. Here's how you played your Game Boy with a magnifier. Ooh, magnifier. Ooh. But it also has a light on it. I'm probably going to toss it because I still have my original Game Boy and it still works. But being real, if I'm going to play a game, I'm probably going to find a ROM of it and play it. It's just so much a little more lucrative. Genesis does! Alright. I've almost got all of the games out of here. Yeah. So. It worked for me for a while, and then it just stopped working. Anyway, toss. So now we're going to load this back up with the kind of in a sequential order of when I think I'll use it next. Which means all of these old systems and the wires and cabling for the old systems will go in. Old system. Old system. My NES is somewhere in this, in this room and I don't know where. That means I should actually push this out of the way and over there after I throw the computer stuff in there. Hey, uh, if you know anybody needs a uh, uh, motherboard or GTX 560 let me know GTX 560 was like it was like two console generations old now so if you know somebody needs a, gra- a graphic a PC graphics card let me know because I got one here I'll sell it I need money not even as a joke I need money because this is probably going to be the rest of my week is being sent home from work at 11 or 12 o'clock every day because there's nothing coming in All right. So I'm probably gonna you. Okay, you can kind of see it. There's a box way back there in the corner. Behind the chat, there's a box way back there. You can kind of see. I'm probably gonna empty the contents of that into this t- into this uh, tub that's just where my foot is. But first, we gotta do the thing with all these games. Actually, first, I'm gonna put the CD somewhere nice. Fish? Oh, you do see a fish. Yeah, you haven't seen my fish yet that I have yet to name. I, I'm not kidding. I, that, I got that fish for Christmas last year because my parents, because I'm terrible when it comes to buying things. I just buy stuff for myself all the time. So I just got that fish for myself. Or I know, no, sorry. I got that fish from my parents because a gift of we don't know what the hell to give you. 
And I think they had the I think they had the the thought that I would just end up having it kill uh, having it dead like in a month or two. So, but it's a it's a beta fish. Did you just flick a rock? Bastard! You're a bastard coated bastard with bastard filling. I know I'm going to display this thing anyway. Right here. Here, let's see if he'll cooperate long enough to s speed for other camera. Fish? Fish. He's working against me. I think he's scared of my hand. It's fish. Ugh. And depending upon how I set up the camera now that now that I am in a new place and can stream in a new place, he might be in shot. He might not for the green screen. We'll find out when I set up the green screen, which might which will probably not happen today. Whew. All right. You know what? I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut to the chase a little early on this. Look at my butt. Gander, that's my lovely booty once again. Now I have a feeling I've got a lot of stuff in this box I'm just gonna throw away. Uh headphones. Those are storage. An uh, extra sock bag, storage. I think this is my Game Boy Pocket. Yes, it's my Game Boy Pocket. So cool, so stupid story about this. Uh, my, my aunt, uh, one that passed, it still works, right? I think the batteries are dead, but this thing still works. Not with those batteries in it. Oh God. So, oh dear. Oh, oh Christ. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, crap. Take your batteries out of your devices, kids. <sighs> the battery exploded. Ow! Ugh. Damn, that hurt. It went up under my nail. Yeah, I'm good. It's just one of those things that happens like you're trying to pick at something that's... Yeah, you're trying to get, uh, you're trying to get your fingernail on something and it doesn't give, but your fingernail does. So it just kind of... Okay. Okay. I have to dismantle this now, because I'm already at this point. Come here. Come here, the... Yo, fishy is not. I'm, say I'm just saying words now. I'm a little loopy. I'm a little loopy right now, because I've had... Because of my uh, worth work ethic to try and get this done... Every time I, like, almost every time I've streamed doing this unpacking thing, I've, uh, I've been not been able to fall asleep properly. Yeah, <laughs> 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 So this will still work. Despite the fact I had a battery explode in it, it will still work. Cause I actually have a Wiimote. I think it's actually by Luigi Wiimote right up here. 
had it had batteries explode in it and crust up, and it still works. In fact, I, I use it. But good God, Game Boy Pocket. Oh yeah, the story about this thing. So, back in the old days, um, Nera, I will not ask age because I don't want to pry, but I'm going to assume back in the day when you were like two or three, Kool-Aid used to let you clip coupons and occasionally they would hold a contest where you can, or you would hold contests and sweepstakes things where you can send in coupons to get items. And one time, one of the hot, one of the, one of the things that cost, yeah, one of the things that cost, um, 7,800, uh, proofs of purchase. So having to buy seven, 7,800 pa uh, little tiny packages of Kool-Aid. If you sent those in with with cost for shipping, you got you got a Game Boy Pocket. So this Game Boy Pocket is a product of Kool-Aid. This is Kool-Aid. Uh I might try this HDMI actually in a little bit to see if it works with my capture card because I need to replace the capture the uh, the HDMI cable I got running through it to for my capture card right now because it's like frayed at one end and busting. It still works per perfectly fine, but it's frayed at one end, the end that's connected to the computer. So we'll try and run this later. Uh. This is This is something to throw away. And this is a Bluetooth speaker, but I have a much better Bluetooth speaker already. So, we're going to throw away the crappy one. Mardi Gras beads from a, from a sister several years ago. We're not keeping those. Found my NES. Uh, summary for retirement. Retirement. Doesn't matter. I keep getting a retirement statement from them every couple of months. Oh my gosh. How many of these did I buy? Well, they're not even old, because Mardi Gras happens every year, Fat Tuesday, in, in Nolens. But basically, for the more mature crowd, you throw these at a lady. You throw these at a lady if she will show you the goods. At least that's that's what I assume to be the the thing. Uh, instruction booklet for my Retron 5 that I'm pretty sure my, that my Retron 5 is fit the dust. Bites the dust, oh, ha, 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 Uh, my old mouse, which I should throw away because it's like covered in crust and crap. I need to get rid of this thing. Uh, Atari Flashback 7, I don't, I don't even have that one still, so we'll throw that away. Uh, spare components, spare Super Nintendo stuff. Alright, uh, fortunately I have to keep this. I'm going to keep that anyway. I don't use this, I should throw this out. I used to put my Wii U gamepad on this, Wii, uh, the gamepad stand. I used to put it on this thing and set it by my bed so I could wake up in game. But, uh... Actually, the switch could sit in there too. Let's put it away. Throw it away. 
That's half the reason why you're doing this scooter, is to throw things away. AC adapter. Oh, yeah, that's my old webcam. It still works, I think, but this is my old webcam. I should keep this around because I I want I should give I would like to try and send it to Dominic because I'm not sure I don't think his webcam is very good. I think I offered it to him at one point. Okay, no one's gonna use that wire. Uh, metal tin that I do not use a for a damn thing, which is, so I'm gonna throw it out. All right. Uh, extra prongs for the Retron 5. We'll leave the Retron 5 down there, just in case I decide to putz with it and try and get working again. This is, oh! Oh, thank God I found this. So I'm gonna cover up the serial code. The serial code. Uh, you can kind of see it. I need to hang on to this because Katsukitty is out of business. Katsukitty is out. Or yeah, Katsukitty is out of business. But this is how I will ever fire up my uh, 2DS capture card if I ever lose the registry for it. I need to hold on to this. That is a very important piece of, of, of documentation. Very important. Uh, I don't need that USB cord or that plastic bag. Um, what are you? Another Wii thing that I don't need anymore. Okay, that's a backup for GameCube and for Super Nintendo all that stuff, so I can, I'll keep that one. So does it wow you that GameCube, Super Nintendo, and N64 use the same AV cables? Ah, uh, there he is. My Nintendo Entertainment System. This is Little Scooter's Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, same issues that plague all NES systems, but... Into the box! Now I only got this, I only picked this up because it looked cool and also to uh, huh, oh sorry, I only picked this up just because it was $10 to get a refurbished one of these plus cool blue, but it's a DS. It works. Now see, if I wanted to be a son of a gun to myself, or if I wanted to be a cool kid, I could just say, you know what? I want a Game Boy Advance now. There are so many, there's so many like v vines back in the day. Like, you think I'm joking. There are people who made vines of them taking DS lights. 
and they just open it up and set and they just open they just have how to how to make how to make yourself a custom Game Boy Advance. First, open your DS Lite. Step two, they they fully break off the top screen. Step three, turn on your Game Boy game. So I'm keeping this. Cause Well, yeah, I'm keeping this thing around, uh, around because there's a couple games, there's like one or two games on, there's one or two games for the DS that if you have connectivity, if you set up connectivity with a, their Game Boy Advance counterpart, you get unlockables and special things. The one that comes to mind is Kirby Canvas Curse. You can unlock Waddle Do as a playable character from the, right from the get-go if you put in uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, or Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, into the Game Boy Advance slot and boot up Canvas Curse. Anyway, old phone boxes. I don't know if the phones are even in here. I should sell these old phones. Don't need those. My Motorola M. Oh well. Throw those in the, in the, in the box. Hey, look! EDL feet in the box. And this fits over my. This fits over here, away from me. Yo, Squeak Squad was baller. Don't you talk shit about Kirby? He's badass. Goddamn Groose. The Groose is loose. Alright. So, we did all that so we can put a lot of this back in the box and just throw it out in a minute. And... This box is go it's gonna basically be everything that I'm throwing away later, later after I'm turning off the street. Which, hey, today's stream won't last as long because we have a very simple, clear-cut goal. We have a very simple, clear-cut goal today. So we already did one part of it, which is to clear out the was to clear out this tub over here and make room in case I have any other goodies to put in there, which I do. So I don't know if anybody was here. I had some important documents. That I need, that I had to get out of here to make room. Well, now I need, I'm going to put them back in there. So I'm going to go get those documents really quick. I returned. And right in they go. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
The things I just got. So all the stuff I just grab, I just grabbed there a second ago. That is, um, those are paperwork for my car, tax for uh, my tax returns. Oh no, those are last year's tax returns. Those are fine. Put that card back in there with with everything. Um, but yeah, they were tax returns, paperwork for my car, paperwork for my health insurance, things of that sort. So I can now box this up and put it away. Except when the court decides it wants to live on the outside of it. Uh, booty! Yeah, so what? I know what I'm after in here. I just finding it's gonna be a page because it's the smallest thing in here. That's a. Where's that go to? Oh, it's charging cord for something I don't care about. Aha! Found what I'm after. Okay. I need to get this, cause this is my charge gear for my, for my Game Boy Advance. Rather for my Game Boy Advance SP. Stop being a tangled mess, god damn it. All right. Good. Leave that charging. All right. Huh. <sighs> now the Game Boy Advance is charging. So now that I've done uh, uh, most of the heavy lifting we're going to be doing today, let's undo this box. Or rather undo these several bags of product. Uh, these are important notes that I need for myself to keep track of stuff. All right, there goes the fun part. I'm currently dumping out huge handfuls of DS games and 3DS games into my hand for storage in just a little bit. You can probably hear some of them hitting the table and shuffling around in my hands. These are games from past and present that I have beaten or have yet to beat, but they just live in this giant baggy there we go they've all lived in this giant baggy which I'm gonna hope to not need to use any further so much so that I'm gonna try and th throw that baggy away because I've had it for like 15 years and it's kind of falling apart so I need to pick up the microphone so I might sound distant but why have I done this because I'm going to put them all back in their cases. So I'm going to try and turn every game so its label faces me. And, and so I can just easily flip through the pile and find something. Okay. Okay. 
So this will be a minute while I get everything situated. scream you'll ever hear. Oh hey look! It's Squeak Squad! Also I watched it just before I started the stream. Uh, shout outs to Scott. Scott Falco. This is Dark Moon. This isn't the original. Dark... The, uh, the original Luigi's Mansion is somewhere in this pile of games, but yeah, he just put out his uh, totally legit. He put out his totally legit Luigi's Mansion speedrun video today. In which Luigi has an ever ongoing existential crisis. Okay. This game was good and bad at the same time. Just... Don't... Just don't. Like, it was good and bad at the same time. Hey look, there's Canvas Chris. I was talking about that earlier. And now, for Golden Sun Dark Dawn that I haven't finished. Or really played. Okay. Almost all these games are facing the right way. Alright. I'll just keep on rambling into, into subspace. Alright, I think that's every game. So I have every case facing towards me. So I can go looking for a game in this pile of games. Yeah, I can go looking for a game in this pile, massive pile of games. And have to put it away. The only, the only exceptions to this are going to be the Game Boy games. Which Donkey Kong Land is this? I wish you could print a new sticker for that. Why did I try and peel off the sticker for that game? Tetris on Game Boy. I have Tetris for Game Boy and for NES. What is my issue? I wonder what's on this memory card. Whatever, stick it over there. Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Unfortunately, I do not own the original case for that game. Nor do I own the original case for this, but... Y'all best recognize Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. Or... For... Or for those in the West. Panel de Pond Go. I think it's Panel de Pond Go. I don't know why I'm t going through the painstaking effort of pulling out all of these, uh... Well, I know why I'm going through that for pulling out all these Game Boy games separate. Super Mario Land, Pokemon Silver, which... Yeah, that battery's frying silver, I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly certain that the Pokemon in there are just... That were in there are just gone forever. Marble Madness for Game Boy. Because I found out it existed and I had to buy the Game Boy version of one of my favorite NES games. Oh, I bought a copy of Kirby's Black Ball? Huh. When? Okay, DS games over here. DS games to the left. Okay, micro SD adapter. That should go in the storage pile.
All right. I should see what's on this thumb drive on my own time. I have a couple thumb drives to do that with, actually. Welcome back with tape. A radio tuner for iPod. Like, this works to some degree. If you ever go, if you, like, depending upon the time of year, the radio station you use to transmit your iPod stuff suddenly just doesn't work anymore. And we throw that away now because now we have, we have superior technology in aux cables and Bluetooth. Hello, one more thing. Okay, no, the stone is still in there. I thought I broke this. Oh, wait, no, this is Grandpa's. Yeah, I think this is Grandpa's, uh, tie tack. Well, I'm going to have to find a very special place for that. So that's why it's way off to the side. You ever just get, with, get hit with the crisp? Ay, ah, Chucky! Alright, let's do this. Kirby, Planet Roll Bobo Boobies. This will go faster once we get down to the bottom of it all. <laughs> the manly scream ref resurfaces. Alright. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. Found it. Now, if all these games ever collapse, because I'm going to be dumb and just try and pull them out of the stack, like that, and I somehow happen to lose you guys stream side, I'll come right back to you. Guys, just remember, Poochie ain't stupid. But goddamn does he not listen. All right. Ah, oh, you were just talking about that. Kingdom Hearts Recoded. It's also a DS game, so we get to get a Game Boy Advance game out of here, too. Now, this might be one of the games where I actually cannot put away, because I don't have the original... We heard this last night. But yeah, I might not be able to put some of these away. Or no, we we just saw it. No, no, we, we just talked about... Uh, oh, there, there it is. Recoded. I don't know why this... Why my copy that got stained. Like here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but... Yeah, you see the discoloration in the lower corner there? As I apparently have a, a ro uh, yeah, as apparently I have a rave going on in my room. Anyway, let's grab a Game Boy Advance title. Okay, that's funny. You know what? We'll put the Kingdom Hearts games together. We'll try and do this a lot. If, like if I have, like this is Golden Sun Dark Dawn. If I find go the next, the other Golden Sun game, I'm or if I find Dark Dawn, I'm going to put the other Golden Sun game in with it. One of them, anyway. Actually, I could kind of... 
double up on it because it'll be loose, but the Game Boy Advance games can also fit down the side. Anyway, I picked up the other, another of my handheld Kingdom Hearts games. Everybody knows what this game is, and I don't even have to bring it close to the camera for you to see what it is. You already know, is bad. <laughs> Uh, I think I I think where I stopped playing the game was Riku th three or four. Yes, it was Chain of Memories. Let's see, triple deluxe. Well, yeah, the card system is uh, antiquated. We'll say. Not antiquated. Okay, the card system's bad. Like, it's actually bad. Like, it's smart to a degree, but it's also bad because at any point, any at any point in your hustle to fight the enemy, they could just go zero, zero, zero. Man, that's a nice combo you going there. Zero. Uh, Bomberman DS. I haven't beat this game because it's like original Bomberman hard. And it has this issue... Well, the thing with this game... I might play it on stream one time if I remember it randomly. Um. God, look at how lifeless that artwork is on it too. But the, th but the main part of this is trying to play it like uh, with... Uh, thing was try to play you know wirelessly with people because that worked better because it was just multiplayer but the story mode the story mode for this is it's hard like it's harder than the NES games hard like whenever you go through a stage you uh you you pick up the power ups for like bomb red normally do, but when you get to the but if you have any additional power ups like, say you are because the it ca everything caps out eight so like you have eight bomb eight fire eight speed, anything additional beyond that goes into a storage bin, so you have that fallback on like if you die in a level you can start the level at max power again and not worry about it, but if you run out of that max power. Suddenly, you just cannot beat the game anymore. And you have to restart for the entire world over if you game over. Anyway. Let's go ahead and put a game... Let's go ahead and put a game in that I know... I, that, uh, actually, one of the only Castlevanias I've beaten. Circle of the Moon. Which try to do the whole Soma Cruz thing for Soma Cruz. Oh, I need that. That's my, uh... That's what it... This is, this is what I use to transfer to new uh, SD drives for my Switch. So all it is, is it's a USB stick. But in the side, it has a slot for a stick... It has a slot for a standard SD card. And for a micro SD card just below it. And all you gotta do is just stick the two SD cards in there, and you copy from one and put it on the other. You don't have to do anything. And that, uh, that's that's really cool about this thing, cause you don't have to do anything extra when it comes to the when it comes to moving your files from one SD card to the other for Nintendo stuff. Now, it's literally copy, pasta. Oh look, all of your data, no questions asked. Anyway, well, I found Golden Sun Dark Dawn, the game. So let's stick that in the case. Oh, there's no Game Boy slot. Well, that sucks because I'm still going to put both of those games in there. Also, I'm going to keep those two together. 
Where is... Oh yeah, don't... No, 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 you can't lie to me. I know I still have my... Original copies of Golden Sun and Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Or Lost Age. Golden Sun, The Lost Age. I picked up a gross game. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. There's the original Golden Sun. There's my baby. There's my RPG child. Alright. So. I'm being fought. What is going on here? It, it won't let me close the case. There we go. But yeah, there we go. All three Golden Sun games ever made. Right there. In this box. All right, let's see. Well, Mario and Luigi partners in time. Oh, I should get on that train sometime soon. That train of play, uh, doing the let's play of the Mario and Luigi series, at least as far as I'm, as far as I played up to. There it is. Like. I know Chuck Conroy already talked talked about it and in great length, but. Mar uh, Partners in Time. Like, it's really. Yeah, pour one off of them. Like, Partners in Time is, I would almost say, like. Partners for me, uh, Partners Time is on par. I put a uh, superstar, the original Superstar Saga, in here too. I just didn't show it. There, there, the original Superstar Saga is in there with it. Um, like I would say, partner, like for me, Partners in Time is on par with Bowser's Inside Story. I like this game a whole lot. I would like it if Nintendo bought the studio. And then they said, okay. Hold on, do this. Alright guys, we gave you a second wind. We let you live to see tomorrow. Now how about you make a good Mario and Luigi game? Because our fans are clamoring for something good and we're tired of remaking the other ones. Are those, are those stickers? Are those stickers? I can't remember if these are stickers or patches. So, yeah, sorry. So, Mega Man Legacy Collection, the original Legacy Collection on 3DS. Why did I buy the 3DS version? Gold Mega Man Amiibo. But it came with these little patches. I don't know if they're patches or stickers, but the but the but the uh, collector's edition that has the gold Mega Man comes with these these things too. All right, I'm glad this song came on. Fantasy Star Three. Huh. I knew this was going to be a big endeavor. Oh my god. Yeah, that's another game. Now I have, I'm currently holding another game in my mouth that I need to play. I definitely need to play considering it beat the game that the game that came it's a game that came out between the other two main entries in its series.
white maze called life. Countdown. See, I look at this cover and I go, who is you? Who is you? And then I go, my babies. <laughs> Nara, you've done this to me. Nara, you specifically have done this to me. I hope you're proud of yourself. Uh, Kirby Squeak Squad. There it is. As I said before, this will get faster. Oh, speaking of, wait, hold on. That put a, I just put a game in there. Speaking of that game, uh, Nara, did you ever jump on the, ch did you jump on uh, PQ2? There we go, Amazing Mirror. Amazing Mirror can go in with Squeak Squad. But why not? Everybody was losing their goddamn marbles over over playable Femsi. And 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 and, and P5 cast and 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 okay, I got nothing else, sorry. Ah. Uh, the the last Dragon Quest game I bought, which apparently is not that great. Oops. It's Dragon Quest Nine, aka the, aka the you. We made a Dragon Quest where you can create your own character and throw it into our world. Anyway, I'm gonna put the OG. Oh no, I'm not gonna put. It. I'm gonna try and theme this. You know what? We'll put one RPG in with another. Dragon Quest Nine. Let's pair you up with the Mother Three fan translation. Oh my god, is, is this... Is the fan translation not uniform size? Oh boy. Dynasty Warriors Advance... It, it... No, I just think the clip... The Game Boy Advance clips in this are busted. Well, Dynasty Warriors Advance it is. Dynasty Warriors Advance. A.K.A. it's kind of busted. In a bad way. All right, Nara. Well, thanks for stopping by. Ocarina of Time 3D. Ocarina of Time 3D. I know I have this cu this case. Yeah, if I'm still going somehow. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be going super long today. I'm hoping not anyway, because I've, I've streamed super long the last three times I've streamed. <laughs> What game's that with? Ocarina of Time 3D. Thank you, there. See you around. No, I'm not just losing my mind. I know I've got the box for... Ocarina of Time 3D. Well, this is a this is a used copy. This could very well be a used copy they picked up because they didn't want to buy the actual thing. 
Nope, there it is. The text on the freaking box is just stupid. Ugh. When I jump on the bandwagon of everybody let's playing Ocarina of Time, that will be the version I'm going to use. Because new. Anyway, TV Robo Ziplash. Also, this is just something I do. I do this a lot for no reason. I just stick a, I just well, I just stick something that could easily be held in my hands. I just stick it in my mouth. I don't know why I do it. I just do it. Also, my very red back background is messing with the uh, lighting in here. Isn't it great? Uh, Metroid Samus Returns. I need to beat this game because this is like the Metroid game that got me into that got me into even remotely interested in the Metroid series. What do cows do, What do cows do in the Master Quest version? I'm unaware and uneducated and kind of dumb. I'm kind of stupid. Not gonna lie. Uh, Final Fantasy Explorers. You know, I bought this game because of Lucky. Oh, right. I have seen that. Uh, Final Fantasy Explorers. Yeah. I bought Final Fantasy Explorers because uh, Lucky, Jamie, uh, peer pressured me into getting it. Because he's like, hey, we can play this game online. Oh boy, we can play a game together online. And then we proceed. I proceeded to try and play with him, and it never happened. It's basically Final Fantasy Monster Hunter. All right. Ah, yes. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga along with Bowser's Minions. You know, a remake of a very classic game. We needed it. I'm not being facetious. We actually did need this. Oh, good. Nera left. Nera left before I could tell him I actually have Dream Drop Distance. Huh. Neat. Sorry, I was just marveling that they got like the monsters on the inside hole, like uh, holes in the 3DS one. It can also function as a reverse cover if you want to do that kind of thing. Uh, yes. Where is it? Where is Henry Hatsworth and the Puzzling Adventure? There he is. I could not tell you if it was better or not. I have yet to play that version of the game. I think I literally bought it because I was like, Oh boy, it's the Game Boy Advance version. I like this game a lot. And then I proceeded to not play it. Anyway, I put mother I put mother three in with Henry Hatsworth. Seems like a fit. Ah. Majora's Mask 3D. Listen, I was one of the people that tried to stave off Alpha Dream going under. I bought the games and never played them. And look what happened. Nothing. Nothing happened. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try my best to tear off this GameStop sticker. Did I buy this? Yeah, I bought this used. 
I bought this game used and it was still $38. So, but yeah, when I eventually get around to, uh, like whatever, so Majora's Mask will probably happen at some point too, but here's the thing with Majora's Mask, I've never beat this game. In fact, I've never played past, like, much past Clock Town for this game, which I have a, I have a story to tell when I do actually play this game, but when I, but yeah, it's gonna be, son of a gun, I've picked that up now. But when I do actually pick this or play this game, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an agonized for everybody out there because I, like I said, I did not get very far in this game and it has become a cult classic. Okay, I had to listen to this song for a minute. This is Sky Chase. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Holy cow, I almost knocked over all my OG Game Boy games. Ah, Sonic Rush Adventure. Yes, Dark Void. Unpacking. Kind of. This is the last string of it where I'm just doing some final touches and getting some final things put away and put up. This is the last day of unpacking, and then I can actually come home and rest. Or, in my case, probably come home and work on videos, or other things. Huh, so you know what's a good, end, a good fitting end to Sonic Rush Adventure? By putting the Game Boy Advance version of Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis in with it. Ooh! Ooh! Why'd I do it dirty? Why I gotta do the game dirty? Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2. There it is. Oops, one more. So yeah, this is just... As the stream, as the uh, genre is just chatting, I'm just talking with you guys while I unpack. So what do I put? I gotta put... I only have... Wow, I do not have very many... Uh, I found more DS and 3DS games, but I don't have very many Game Boy Advance games. Well... Let's put... Donkey Kong Country GBA... In with Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2. Anyway. Uh, ah, there it is. Ha! A game that should be remade for Nintendo Switch because everybody will love it and play it. And oh god... Pit and Palutena portrait art are on the inside. Oh, hey, there's Medusa. And Dark Pit. I forgot they had so much detail on the inside of the 3DS cases when the 3DS originally came out. And now it's just kind of a lifeless void. Uh, Kirby Mass Attack, where are you? That game, I, that game, that Kirby game. That's a, that's a black sheep in the Kirby franchise that I've played like a total of five minutes of. I think I played like three stages and then I just stopped playing it. Uh, Mario Kart DS. Wow. See, this is going faster now because this pile of games is shrinking as we go. 
And a Mario Kart DS gets Super Mario Advance shoved in with it. Yeah, Mass Attack. Er, mass Attack. As I said, I've played like, I played like three hours of this game. If, if that. Three hours, three stages, one of those two. Then I stopped playing it. It, it was a wrap. And I ain't talking burrito. Anyway. Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy Curtain Call. I found this at my I found this at my local dollar store for five dollars. And Lucky kind of went on and on the past about how much he loved the Theater Rhythm game, so I was like, okay, I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up, maybe I'll play it. And hey, for five bucks, if I can get a rhythm game for five bucks, amazing. Now I'm gonna have some games in here that I'm just gonna have to put back in another case because they got shipped to me without the without the uh, hard plastic cases. Is that an SD card? Okay, that's an SD card. That goes in the SD card pile over here. Anyway, uh, Bust to Move 3D is one of the, or Bust to Move DS is one of the games. So is so is Pack and Roll. Ah. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Finally beat this game. Actually, I finally beat this game with you guys. Okay, you're probably not wrong on the Elite Beat Agents thing, but... I haven't played it. Dream Team. It looks stupid to me when I did see it. So here's the thing about Elite Beat Agents that I'm going to tell you. And you're going to hate me that I tell you. You basically played a bootleg Osu. Hyrule Warriors Legends, the game I literally bought for more characters... And I still have to buy Ultimate Edition of Hyrule Warriors because it has ev more characters. And then actually, like, fully complete the game because I only beat the main story of Hyrule Warriors. Da, 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 da. Let's see, Dig Dug, Dig and Strike, that was the game that was just sent with the game alone. Uh, Cookie and Cream was also sent by Game Uh, Osu, yeah. Elite Beat Agents. It was bootleg Osu. Try and tell me I'm wrong. Try? You can't dare it? Such your feelings. You know I'm right. Anyway, Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story, The Goat, the the OG, the God Tier game. Back when Alpha Dream peaked, we said, "Please, Mr. Alpha Dream, can you make a good, a really good Mario RPG?" And they said, "Showtime." I can't do the Bowser Growl. Only that guy that's got his name Kenny can do it. Anyway, let's stick... You know what? Let's stick... Fitting that's Mario 3 music. Let's... With, for, with Bowser's Inside Story, let's stick... Let's stick Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario Advance 4 in with it. Nowadays... I imagine you selling the Wii would get you like twenty twenty five dollars. Buying a used Wii would pro buying a used Wii would probably be fifty dollars. Star Fox sixty four three D. That goes in the blank case.
which I should make my own color for. I should make my own art for it really quick. It's not going to be a lot because it's two gi console generations old. Let's see if I can re replicate the art on the box art really quick here. I went a little far. Oh well, this is not meant to be per a perfect recre a perfect recreation. I'm literally just, I am actually just sitting here trying to recreate the uh, Star Fox 64 3D box art right now. I don't know why. Call it an issue with my Branium Cramium. There. Look at that. I am an artiste. You can't see it because it's red as hell. There. I am artiste. It's on a post-it note too, so it's even more glorious. Alright, now back to it. So yeah, as I said earlier, this part's going to go faster as time goes on because, hey, I'm going to have less and less games to go through. So Mario Kart 7, in, done. Next one, Sonic Generations 3DS. You know, I just got done saying that and I feel like I'm lying already. Huh, is this one I only have the, cart I have the cartridge only for it? I'm going to say yes for now, but I'm still going to set that aside just in case I find it while I go through this. Okay, that one might be cartridge only, so we'll confirm later. Heroes of Ruin, this might also be a cartridge only. In fact, I think it is a cartridge only. Canvas Curse. Just talking about that earlier. What pile was that on? Okay, well I'm going mental because I know I had Canvas Curse. The box for Canvas Curse here. I didn't put another game into it, did I? 
Because that would be a very me, me thing to do. Yeah, it might be in the stack. Curry, mass attack. Hit. No. No, it's not here. It's not there. Huh. Well, I somehow lost that game. Game case. Huh. Wonder what happened to that game case. Alright, set that aside then. Uh, WarioWare Touched. There it is. There's gold. There's gold and touched, like in the same pile. WarioWare Touched, you can be coupled with another weird game. How about Worms World Party for Game Boy Advance? Let's see. New Zealand Story. I know I only have the cartridge for that. That probably sounded amazing. Anyway, Pokemon Moon. Found it. Oh, Kami done. God, I really do not like how Susano and uh, Kushi's kid looks. I really do not like him. Play, th play through the whole game as Chibitarasu. Anyway. Must just... Well, no. There's going to be a spot for the Zelda game in another spot. So actually, we're already at the point where we're down to like three... And Game Boy Advance games, so I, and they've got, they probably have places they're gonna go when I get there. So, this will be Bish Bash Boss Super Mario 64 DS. I'm surprised I still have this, this whole thing. See, pile's getting shorter. Omega Ruby! Ha ha! I will never finish this game. Because I have extreme distaste for Generation 3 for some reason. Okay, I only have like five games in this pile to go through. 3D Land. I only have like five more games to go through in this smaller pile. And then I've got this uh, glass case full of games. Let's see, and they're all 3D, these are all 3DS games, so Paper Jam. Paper Jam. Uh, Mario Brothers 2, New Super Mario Brothers 2, rather. Huh, it's only four o'clock. Sounds like somebody's here. I'm gonna go check something. I'll be right back. Be back in just a second.
So sorry to say, no, the roommate is not here. Ouch, my booty. Let's continue on. Super Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. A game I actually need to give more of an honest chance on. Cause apparently Super Mystery the the Mystery Dungeon games are amazing. But I just my attention gets pulled many ways. There it is. Ah, uh, A Link Between Worlds. Amazing title. One of the best, one of the best titles ever made. There it is. I was about to say, oh my god, did I actually throw out the case for A Link Between Worlds? No, I didn't. I was about to be mad with, I was about to be very mad with myself. Alright, and then Puzzle and Dragons. Really good puzzle game. Really weird puzzle game. I like it. I should play more of it. Alright. Oh, wait. Don't go through that one yet. Go through the small baggie of games you have set aside. That you took on your trip with you. And throw this baggie out. Let's see. Tetris DS. Tetris DS, an immaculate title. If you don't play Tetris 99, Tetris DS is the best version of Tetris to play. That stack's a little wobbly. I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna separate it and split it. Just so it doesn't fall over. Uh, Mario Party Star Rush. I don't know, everybody's, everybody's divided on Star Rush. I like it. Then again, Sonic Shuffle is not a bad game in my eyes. It is and it isn't at the same time. OG Luigi's Mansion. Uh, what? Ah, I do have World Tour in my DS, in my 3DS. Let's put that away for now. Uh, Just so I don't freak out when I can't find it. Anyway, try for well, let's see. I know what I need. Know what two games I need now. World Tour and Triforce Heroes. Man, these piles just became tiny and fast. Ah, yes. Wow, do you add? Old. The only 3DS game with full voice. Well, besides Kid Icarus Uprising, with full voices. And it's really kind of amazing. Anyway, let's rip this open. This stupid little thing I have that I don't know why I have. Let's rip it open. And start digging through that pile. Well, I see a game I need to pull out right away. Pokemon Platinum version. I wonder if Pokemon are in this. Eh, not, not curious enough to boot it up right now. Anyway, stick a copy of Pokemon Emerald in with it. Fitting, collect, fitting connections there. Rhythm Heaven. Oh, Rhythm Heaven. My son. Rhythm Heaven is... Oh, can't get over it. Can't get over how good it is. Pokemon X. My... As full as I possibly could get it, 3DS... Or Gen 6 Pokemon game. 
I think I was at like 532 out of 610 or whatever it was back in the uh, 6th gen. Pokemon Rumble Blast. The last good Pokemon Rumble game. And it was the second one in the series. There's five now. Uh, I know I only have the cartridge for Super Princess Peach. Let's see, Yoshi's Island DS. This is Pokemon Y. Yeah, so for a while, so for a while there, I actually have, I actually was like having both, ver I was getting po both versions of Pokemon games because it was so much easier having two versions of the game to do the let's play of it on later on down the line. But as time went on, well, as time was, we're about to approach here, it's going to be easier to do, to just have, it's going to be so much easier now just to have the one version and multiple accounts on your switch to play a pokemon game so that way you can still hold on to your main group on your on your main profile but then on the secondary profile you can do multiple playthroughs however you want anyway so this one i grabbed is a big one it's a very important big one and i rip the box on this a little bit mad at myself I could sell this for like a hundred dollars it's not mint it I think I think the term is cherry actually if you don't have the original version if you don't have it like sealed but Pokemon heart gold With the Poke Walker. You know, I just realized you've not been able to hear a single lick of audio this whole time. I'm sorry, I just realized there's no there was no background music for you guys this whole time. I apologize. Yeah, Pokemon Heart Gold version with Pokewalker. Huh, I guess I really don't have Canvas Curse. The Canvas Curse box anymore. That's cursed. Eh. 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 And I'll stop. Brain age. That I got for my that I got for my sister. She was into games for a little while, then she stopped being into games. Anyway, spirit tracks. I still have to beat this game. I got distracted by something else and never went back to it. Phantom Hourglass. I did beat this game, but not 100% because it was that time in my life where it was just like, go, 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 go. Ugh. This Yu-Gi-Oh game I got for free that I didn't want. Cause they, cause GameStop messed up shipping my copy of Super Princess Peach, and instead sent me a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Do I look like a man who plays children's card games, potentially on motorcycles? Oh, that's Legendary Starfy. I only have the cartridge for Starfy. No, 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 uh, jewel case. Anyway, new Super Mario Brothers. All 
All right, we're almost we're almost done. We're at the home stretch. Just like seven more games. Okay, so put these two 3DS games back in here. Diddy Kong Racing. DS. A poor decision was made that day. Uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra. Uh, Star Fox Command. Okay, so I have... Wow, I have three games and three boxes. So, Mario Hoops, three on three. Oh, I went too fast. I gotta back up a little bit. Where is Phantom Hourglass? I need to put my I need to put the NES Classic series uh, Legend of Zelda in with Phantom Hourglass. Pokemon White. And Sonic Rush is the last game, which also gets Sonic Advance stuffed into it. All done. All of my DS and 3DS games have been returned to their boxes if they have them. That only took about half an hour. I'm throw all these away. Now comes the fun part. Everyone travel with me over to the show. That show. We're going down there in that cubby hole that you can barely see. With all of this. This won't all fit, so I've got an alternative solution for this. Anyway, uh, the highlight of this pile is... Actually, I should, I should sort it by DS and 3DS, shouldn't I? So I'll make this the DS pile over here. Whoop. Lost everything. Got everything. Yep, losing everything again because I was checking chat. Let's see, DS game. Yeah, the highlight of this pile, the highlight of this pile is going to be uh, Heart Gold. Even though Pokemon Platinum is the coolest contender for that one. So is Tetris DS. Stack, but I have a solution to that. And as we coded, and as I said, the highlight of this pile will be heart gold. And they'll even stick Froki in the corner with it. Froki doesn't stand up right anymore, does he? Whatever, Froki gets to stand in the corner with that. And... Actually, no, Froki will not go in there. Ugh. The leftover DS games will go in there. And... All of my 
Game Boy games will go in there. I actually pulled the Game Boy Color games out. Make them separate. So they sit on top next to it. So then, all of these 3DS games I've got, there's another shelf. There's another shelf I left open specifically for this. I have to fix it a little bit, but I'll even show you it because we're going to be over on this side of the room in a minute anyway. Chair needs to move. Mr. Chair. This wall. Okay, from that angle you can't see it. I'm well aware. But it's going to go into this hole. And I made a mistake in not bringing the games with me. There's some silver, there's looks like some tinsel over here. Anyway, one stack of 3DS games. Understand, you do not understand how amazing that felt. All right, you know, we heard this yesterday, but I'm gonna let it play out anyway because I love the song. Anyway, and now all of my 3DS paraphernalia can go out down and on that shelf too. And my 3DS paraphernalia, I mean, the, I mean the systems. So 2DS capture card, 3DS XL, and the, and the uh, holding stand for Kid Icarus Uprising. We have one issue, and it involves all of my gosh dang amiibo. So, the whole idea with the amiibo pile, the idea with the amiibo pile this time is, hello again Dark Boy, the idea with the amiibo pile is, I gotta change the camera here again, come with me if you want to see is that wall up there. Billy, come on. Come on, do it for daddy. Good enough, for now. So, this wall up here, this whole wall, I'm gonna cake with Amiibo. So, I have Boysha Bins though. So I'm just gonna get started. We're gonna go through my, I'm, for those that weren't here, I'm gonna pull up the box Amiibo and I'm gonna stack it. I'm gonna start right here, right above, the, right above my computer, a little bit above it, because I don't know if I'm gonna put anything, I don't know how big my next computer is gonna be, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of wiggle room in case it's even bigger. I hope you enjoyed that angle of just my teeth and my man, and my man, 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 mass. Man, man, mass. Why blam? But of course, we're gonna start big. And it's gonna be a little weird as well. So we're gonna start with Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. And like I said, I'm gonna hang it a little high. And up he goes. Detective Pikachu. Now, just because this one's gonna be hard to hang up because the hanging shelf for it, it or the hanging profile for this, basically this Crash Bandicoot Skylanders bundle is a good 
inch, inch and a half from the back of the box. I'm just going to plop them right on top. Just directly on top. But after that, every single other Evo will have its own hook. But I'm going to try and start uh, bigger on the bottom and go smaller towards the top. So, I'm going to do, because I know it's going to fit, I'm going to do a bunch of the Monster Hunter Stories Amiibos now. Uh, Pickle and Dan. Basically, Monster Hunter Story stuff. But I'm going to keep these kind of tight knit on the wall too. You'll see what I mean, hopefully. Sing with the music if you know it, because you know because nobody does, because it's an OC remix song. And they will be kind of uh, asynchronous just because I am not going for perfection on these, I'm just going to have them up. But as I said, biggest to smallest. all the monster hunter stories up there and then i'm going to start doing the uh a bunch of the two packs right above that i'm going to start doing the two a bunch of the two packs right right above that up here right above what, these five and then above that i'm going to do certain singles as much as i can Yeah, these amiibos are just the boxed ones, the ones that... The ones that I have no reason to take out of the box. They do not serve any purpose to me at all, other than collector. Other than being plagued by being a collector. Anyway. Berioros. Uh... Really effeminate looking dude. Just so you know, my thumb is, you can already see it now, my thumb is gonna be beat red by the time I'm done doing this because I'm putting this into like flex board. And flex board is not forgiving at all when it comes to your fingers. I might even go get the hammer just to make this easier on myself. Oh, I gotta go blow my nose. I'll be one second. I'm also gonna take this. I'm also gonna take this out with me. Oh, I had a straight Game Boy game. Well, too late to put in something now. The king has returned. So, right, big amiibo. Well, the next biggest amiibo is going to be the Samus and Metroid Duo Pack. Give these a light dusting. So 
So I think I'm actually gonna set this low. Yeah, it's got the same, it's got the same like top to bottom surface area that the. Uh, Uh, top to top down, it's got like the same uh, surface area that these guys have. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. All right. So, all the silica uh, rummage to the piles. Make sure. Okay. All of Celica, Pearl, Pearl and Marina, and uh, Toon Link and Toon Zelda. So I think I'm actually, these are going to be the last ones going to be at the bottom, so to say. So, yeah, because they're about the same surface space too, so I'm going to set them down here. And then we'll start doing small ones. Works so great for this. This wall is great, by the way, because just because of uh, how it's set up. This, make a little hole, make a big hole, because that pin is a little bit poor. Anyway, make a hole, push it in the rest of the way. Look at this go. It's like clockwork. Another one, and another one, and then you get it. Memes are dreams, follow them everywhere you go. Now if I wanted to be even more scrutinous of this, I could get a tape measure out, and I could like measure from ceiling to a specific point to put, make sure every single Weibo is perfectly lined up. But I'm not, because I'm not that picky. Anyway, uh, I think that's all the big ones now. Let me look at the pile, see if there's any more doubles. No, we're out of doubles. Um. All right. Man, you do not know how, how elated I am, guys, to almost be done with all this. Because... Once I get this done... Um, once this is done... Then all I have left to do for unpacking at this point... Is to decide and hang up posters... Which I'm probably going to hang up a handful, like a really small handful of them now. And... I only have a small handful of posters I want to hang up now, because I'm kind of get, Like mentally, I'm kind of getting over the whole, I have to have posters everywhere in my room bit. Okay, yeah, that was a little too close, but it'll work out fine. Yeah, I'm kind of getting over that walk of that walk of life for myself. Of I have to have a poster. Up, I have to have a poster everywhere I go in this, in my living quarters. Let's 
see any special Try to put the uh, calico up there. Actually, what I could do is position the amiibo. Oh no. Actually, yeah, I can't do that. Get my pin in place, push through, and then just. Yeah, that'll make it go fast, even faster. Let's see, let's find something else unique. Because I kind of want the unique amiibo to be over in that general area. I'll tear. Basically the amiibo that are not like Nintendo specific characters, if I can. set up there that are just weird so or chivalry and country and then to salute the sun salute the sun do you even Yeah, but like, I, I know, I'm just, I'm repeating stuff, but we're on the, we're done with the whole, we're done with the whole, like, unpacking of stuff for the most part. At this point, it's just the decoration. It's the fill the room with the items part. So like I said, I don't have... Many things I'm going to hang up. Oh! Scooter, you big dumb. You forgot one. Well. Time to make this out of order and make everybody's OCD go off the goddamn charts. So at this point, I just want to grab Amiibo boxes. Did I ever show this one? There's the Amiibo. I, never, I don't think I ever showed you guys in camera. Actually, there's two. Be gentle. So yeah. Gold Mega Man. There we go. Gold Mega Man. And a Loot Goblin. This is an amiibo. I also put up the uh, Box Boy and Mega Man 11. Mega Man. Oh. Shoot, I got to get that Mega Man down. Yeah, don't knock over the papyrus. Okay. So I got to get the game box out of here. game box. Okay. Now that's handled. Um. 
At this point, I'm just gonna gather up a handful of amiibo. And just start sticking them up. This is stick up with all the amiibo on display. Yeah, it kind of sucks that the camera angle for you guys is not that great. It's not that great, you can't really see too much of what's going on up here. Or at least, like, specifics. Like, from what I can see, you can kind of make out this is Zelda theme. You can kind of make out Marina here. You, you can't make out anything here. You can kind of make out that's a Rathalos. Anyway, I'm not listening them all off. I'm just kind of looking at you guys, seeing if you got anybody saying anything. And then I just go back, go back to pinning Amiibo up. Ugh. Crom. Yeah. Fire Emblem series Crom, not a uh, Smash Crom. So I could use it for Smash if I want to, but I'm going to use... I use the Smash Amiibo for Smash... Because it's meant for Smash. So they're like the one of the few ones I break out of the case. Except for these guys. The Squirtle and Ivy so Squirtle, Ivysaur, and to a list extent Char Charizard are all just Pokemon trainer alts. Actually I have to look at something really quick. I have a message here. Oh. They want me to start. They want me to start, uh. They want me to start messing with ads. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with ads on Twitch. The fact that when you, that when you guys come into Twitch, and you guys get greeted front and center by an ad, The fact you guys get, like, assaulted by an ad the moment you walk in is enough. Really, the only reason I should ever, the only reason I should ever run an ad is, this, uh, is if I'm, if I get to a point where I start running sub streams, but, pe but let people who aren't subbed at least watch, that's the only time I would ever run an ad. And it wouldn't affect the people who are sub because people who are sub to channels don't get ads on that channel. At least as far as I'm aware. Is he famous? No, he's not. Okay, one last amiibo on the top shelf. Oof. Advent Children Cloud is a little dusty. Yeah, that one will stick over a little bit, but it's fine. It'll stick over a lot now, because I definitely didn't measure that one at all. <laughs> Alright, so far I like this row. So I think next I'm going to start a row from this side, up here. This is going to be the last row, so... If I get all the way down the wall with this row and I'm still not out, which might be a very real possibility. I'll start stacking them three high. I'll start, uh, yeah. I'll start stacking them three high on this end. My thumb hurts from all the pin pushing. I would get gloves. I would get gloves on, but I don't have gloves.
Alright, anyway. Back at it. Back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Damn Daniel, he's back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Guys, I'm cool, I swear. here. I got 10 more over here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more there. So I have 18 total. So I can put six on the end. All right. So if my math checks out right, I can get two more amiibo on the far end, and then I can just build off the top. Which I was about to start doing it from the, just start building up right away, but no, I should actually do what I said I was going to do a minute ago. overboard oh no it was the plant don't worry plant has been reacquired So much stuff here. If I was, if I didn't have like. <laughs> but I feel like I can have mild uh, dyspraxia. I feel like I can just like do look, put a grid up in my mind and start just pinning really quickly. So yeah, not dyslexia, dyspraxia. That which is like met. This is up your. Uh, I don't, th I don't think I actually have it, so this, that's a false statement, but it's basically left and right are a little hard for you to handle sometimes, or balance is a little hard for you to handle sometimes. getting sore. Let's see what time of day is it? It's almost five. So yeah, I think I've got one poster that's gonna go way down here. Uh, I might get a chair or something and put one or two posters behind the computer. 
Maybe three, because there's a spot there for one. Maybe a smaller one. One, two, three posters. Four, five. And I think that might be it. Because, yeah, there's not really anything back in this corner I need to see besides my bed. So, yeah, I get five. Other than the ones that I've set specifically aside, which, where did those go? They're on the shelf. So I basically get five posters. I think I already know the five I'm going to use. So yeah, it's not going to be very long yet. I need any more. Well, I also have to get a ladder so I can get... I also have to get a ladder so I can get up to the ceiling here and hang up two wall scrolls. Which... I'll bring you guys along for that journey. Okay. Dance break over. so reflexive for me to suck in because I used to be so such a large dude but now when I suck in it hurts because like I can feel like my skin going I can feel like my skin like going up into my lungs it hurts <laughs> damn you weight loss you're making me actually you know an, a proper human being that feels pain Yeah, I've definitely hit a point now where I don't care as much. I'm just kind of going. I thought I saw... I thought I saw a pit, like a gross pit for some reason. <clears throat> Hang on, just Stragalia things. Grab the rest of the Amiibo. God, they're all like Zelda themed. Almost every single one of these Zelda or Amiibo in my hand are Zelda themed, except for Ivysaur. distracted by my own Dragali stuff. So. 
Actually, what I'm gonna do now that I'm this close to the wall, I'm just gonna go above the crash and the cortex I've got up here. I'll get you guys a better view once we're done, but I'm gonna go above the crashing cortex thing just till I hit the stopping point of all this. So, it won't be long now. Let's grab this kid Link. Young Link, rather. Okay, no, it is used in Breath of the Wild. Nothing else. I thought I was like, wait, does it have functionality in... Does it have functionality in Majora's Mask 3D? But it does not. Alright, that's the last one. Up there. So, we're done here on down towards this section of the wall when it comes to these amiibos. So now we're going to be going down there where Daruk is. And building up. I guess I should... I guess I should build down, really. Like, I should put the last three in. Yeah, one. And then two more push pins to get Mipha and Rebosa on the wall. are up they're up a little high but it doesn't matter because they're in and that is every amiibo accounted for and put away now then other than the two wall scrolls that are going to go up on the up on the ceiling which i'm going to get a ladder for i need to pick out five posters i said And they're pretty, gonna be pretty much standardized posters, so. Everything else goes in storage. So I think I know all the ones I wanna use. I know the majority of the ones I want to use anyway. So I will show you guys the poster, and then I'm going to put it up almost immediately afterwards. Use this one. Oh, that's actually one of them. So I want to put up the parish poster. Symphonic Orchestra poster. That's the Demo Man poster. That one's going up. I don't want the Smash Villager one. Not the Polycano one. This is... This is the Minecraft one. It should come up so I can confirm. Yes, it is. So, no. Okay, 
myself. I need... There's one of the Link Between Worlds poster I want to get up. Okay, no, I get a six poster too. But I want to pick good ones. Uh, I don't want a horizontal one though. Okay. So I got four, which I'm going to put back in that tube. Um. Ooh, that's hot. Furnace is a runner. No. Ah, uh, dang, it's a small one. Oh, that's one I want to hang up. Okay. So I get one more. I got one more poster to hang up. Not Odyssey. Really, I don't really want to do Odyssey. One of these in here. Uh, it's a horizontal one, but that's probably the other one I would do. Posters. Okay, I think I've decided. Yeah, I'm looking through my post. I'm looking through my posters right now, just to decide which ones I want to put up. I'm, I'm kind of dialing back on my posters because it's a little. It was a little excessive in my last place. I'm gonna keep them all, but I'm not gonna put up as many. But I picked out my several. Well, you know what? The Breath of the Wild poster is gonna go up. And every other poster is going to come out and protest. Oh no, wait. The Breath of the Wild one will go up. A Cooly Cooly one will. There. Fine. I'll wrap it around the other way. Seeing as we're going to be very picky about how we do things now. So those are my posters. Everything else to go back in the box. Everything has to go back. That one inside. Oh, it's the uh, Legend of Zelda one I don't care about. As much as I like Rain Arc stuff, I it's not enough incentive for me to put it up. Of course, welcome to the fun part of putting your posters away when you store them in tubes, is getting them back in the tubes without damaging them. I'll try and take you guys around the room with me as I do as I do my six or so posters. 
But really the big ones that you guys are going to be here for, and this is going to be the last two we're going to do, is going to be the wall, the walls canvas wall scroll posters that are going to hang from the ceiling by two pushpins. Actually, I should probably do three. Because I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night to something falling on my head. That's probably like the worst way to wake up is... Ah, oh, shoot. You know what? I gotta throw, got throw this one away. I trashed it. As much as I love, as much as I like my Cowboy Bebop poster, I kind of trashed it when I'm in the mood. So I'm sorry, every artist out there. And on that day, everyone's soul got crushed. Now listen, you may not... I'll come closer for this one. Now you may not like what I did, but as you get older, you, you kind of realize that you can't hold on to everything. So if something gets ruined, can I start to start going, okay, it's ruined, I have to toss it. It's just how it is. Which is why we throw away so many waifus! Ha ha ha! Okay, one set of po one set of posters back in the tube. I really like this song. Um, Alright, let's put these posters back in the case. I was waiting for that Boogeyman call earlier, game. You missed my dance cue! Also, did I just call this song game? Also, did I just smash a poster? It's not an important one, it's okay.
I'm trying to wrap this up tight and it's not working. up so tight and it's not getting any better. So there's two posters and the, the, so there's two posters tied together. I was about to complain about my my to, my poster rolling strap becoming garbage and then I was like, oh wait, no, it's fine. sit on the outside. I was going to try and do it, but it's not going to work. Last one. Last poster to put away. And then the other end pops open. Ugh, poster tubes. Why? Alright, so then this can shove down the middle. This gets shoved down that middle. All right. All of my posters and whatnot have been chosen. So I shouldn't need to go back into the closet for any reason after that. So. The one that's going to greet to greet everybody when they walk in is the Left 4 Dead 2 poster, The Parish. This this poster is probably the best out of all of them that are in uh, that are available for purchase on uh, Valve's website. And unfortunately, I got I got to get really close to you guys for these first couple of posters, like uncomfortably close, like. Here is the left side of me, in your face, close. Okay, good, it just went on the desk. All 
I don't want to clench my fist. I don't want to clench my right fist because there's push pins like littered in my fist. Dude, I'm gonna go left handed on this one. Sorry guys. Get a hammer and fix it real quick. Just gonna borrow my roommate's hammer. Hammer. Good enough. Nope, not again. Okay, so it looks like this little guy. Actually, if I had a hammer now. I can just hammer down all these corners and be my life easier. I avoid using a hammer for so long in this. Because my accuracy of the hammer is pretty abysmal. There. One poster. So next one's gonna go above you guys here. Next one's gonna go to the left of you guys. <sighs> And then, yeah. Let's see, I need eight total, so that's three, four, or four, six, eight. So one of the ones going to go above my desk is Pokemon playing cards. And because it's smaller, I don't have to stretch high up. I'm not going to go super high up with these ones just above my desk. Thing somebody sees when they come in, by the way. It's just a face of man in front of them. Or a whole lot of man right in their face. that corner and it's a little cockeyed but whatever there we go well I knocked down Okay, we're fine, I think. No, we're not. Steve, the small Steve ran off somewhere. He's 
car. Oh, look. I need to get a uh, plastic bag and just put all that in too. Okay. So the other horizontal poster I'm doing is the uh, Sacred Grove from Link Between Worlds. Uh, Link is down in this corner of it, but I want that right above the desk on the left monitor. So here we go. Guys, can I just say I'm really glad that this is the last stretch for me. For all this, this is the last thing I wanted to do. Oh yeah, how do you like those scars? Well, go off and go there. Now I'm going to come on this side of the mic. talked about it last night but this is the one poster I really want to hang up it's this still from meet the demo man so it's gonna go up way down here though you will actually be able to see me work on this one for a change and then the Rosalina poster is probably gonna go in a corner over here way over here I'll try to turn the camera around so you can see this stuff but it's gonna go in a corner that only I'm gonna see and then the other two posters I've had a slight change of heart but they're both gonna go below this uh, below this AC uh, below the uh, AC out output vent over here oh nice still gotta oh I still gotta do something else so let me do this one up and then we're gonna turn the camera on the other side of the room for a little bit
let's throw out that push pin because it's bent at the top. There it is. Throw it out. Grab a new one. Perfect. Demo mod? Alright, we have three posters left. And they're all living in the opposite corner of the room. Uh, that is all the twisting and shouting I can- No, wait, 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 hold on, we got more. Okay. So if I close the closet door, you might be able to see what I'm doing. I gotta know who takes the life for free. Ah, uh, good enough. Well, no, I gotta tilt it up. I can. No, it looks like that's all I can get you, cause the tilting's on the part that's balancing right now. Gosh dang it. Well, this is the best I can get you. You can see my computer wallpaper and some icons on my computer desktop. Take notes. Dox me. Do it. You won't. You probably will. Knowing how, knowing how, uh, how venomous the internet can be at times, somebody, somebody will do it. Oh, never showed it. Here's your poster. It's very bright right now, but uh, it's Rosalina, Mario, Wii Fit, Fox. This is a Smash 4 poster that came from Club Nintendo. You know, before Club Nintendo went away and we got. Actually, let me garbage can. I gotta get another push pin. I lost that one. Oh well. I think I put it in my recycle bin. Okay, I hammer because my finger's getting sore. So there's one more thing I have to do with thumbtacks that I forgot about, but I'm going to do it still. Uh, it's going to be to put myself a speaker up here. Mm. These books may have to go somewhere else. Store them on the. Well, I tried to store them on the DVD shelf. Yeah, I can go right up there. I get the books off the corner. All right. So two more posters, smaller ones. What the hurts?
All right, so one of them is, there it goes. Holy Cooly Poster. And the other one is Bowser and Ganondorf having a drink. Hammer. Well then, we're not using that one. I don't know where that piece of it went. I hit the top one and the the part you push on for the push thing just kind of shot off into the ether. That's done. All right. Wouldn't have made some for this. Alright. There. We're in the wall. All posters are hung. Now I have to do something else. Before I move on to the uh, overhead stuff. So, for anybody that doesn't know, I run, whenever I'm just doing stuff by myself, I run a 5.1 stereo system. So, I'm rigging up said stereo system right now. So that way the cord goes along and hides along the walls. So, Stereo is going to sit on top of the bookshelf. I just hope I have enough cord to snake it around the room. Mm. 
Not if you move it. Okay, so I have to move it. It's fine. It's a big speaker with multiple cords. Hopefully it can move enough to work for me like I want it. backfired. I'm not going to pick up the carpet to do this. Dang. Oh well. So let me rewrap this up. So this speaker is just going to sit on the floor behind behind my microphone stand. There, 5.1 surround. So that saved me a little bit of time, but now comes the fun part. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going up and not on this wheeling chair. We're going up. Like the movie. So somewhere in that area is where we're going to be. I'm getting a ladder to make this safer because I'm not going to get on a chair for this one. Ladder coming in the frame, hang on. Ladder in frame. I think I could have picked I think I could have picked up a smaller ladder actually. Now watch me unfold, get this all done, unfold it and everything, and it's gonna say not meant for your extremely wide butt. I'm gonna hang up two. Hold this. And while thinking of it, things I can hang up on the wall on various thumbtacks. I'm gonna do that quick. Okay. Let's 
freeze it too. Okay. You might as well. Okay. Anyway. Taking inventory of things that can hang on walls. you all came for is to see me is to see my large ass go up in a ladder so squirrel one oh kami and I'm gonna take three of these up with me I want to triple pin this because I do not want this falling down Error. Where's the hammer? Aha, hammer. And hey, I just remembered. I'm wearing carpenter pants. So I can actually put a hammer in my pocket. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, this hit ladder's cold. Being done about this. center but I'll take it. Okay, that's one. And yeah, it hangs a little bit. It's gonna just hang off center because it is a slanted ceiling. So I'll just count my losses, but that's where these live. They live hanging up from the ceiling. Huh. The other one's gonna go back a little bit, so I gotta get back down, get it, yeah, and get it up there with three more push pins. And the other one's going up, Samurai Jack. But hey, after this one, we're done. The end of the stream is upon us. Kind of. I had to move one piece, I went to move a single small piece of furniture back in here. Uh, into this room, and then once I turn everything off, garbage goes out, and I'm done. I can finally relax. And I can probably set up the green screen too. Anyway. Oh, 
to go. ceiling in this one. Hammering first, I kind of got this all screwed up. There. cold now by the way oh there you go not the uh, most expertly crafted ones but most expertly crafted hanging but Okami and Samurai Jack I love these wall scrolls the Okami one is so cockeyed oh well it doesn't bother me that much uh, so, at this point, at this point, I just gotta get the ladder out of here, I get a clothes hamper back in the back corner, and I think we'll take a couple more minutes, I'll set up the green screen right here, and we'll be done. We're setting up the green screen is going to be fun because I'm going to have to take it back down every time I want to exercise. Ah. Got my pumpkin. All right. Far. Uh. Well, I probably won't be bumping into those. That is that area there is there's partitions directly below it so I won't be going towards that wall anyway and on the other side of that is my bed the wrong side to get into bed on so I won't really be going that way anyway one second
Don't worry, I am here again. Never fear, Scooter's here. Okay, worry immensely because Scooter's here. Uh, right, I didn't do the thing I said I was gonna do. Welcome back, Raven Star. Well, you can kind of see those poster, those uh, wall scrolls I talked up so much while I go and get the last piece of furniture that I forgot to get. This one here is Samurai Jack. I know it's really blurry because I my what my what because 720p forced and all that jazz, but Aku Jack. Uh, this one, which you can't see over the pop filter. This one is Okami. Uh, he's really hard to see, but uh, hold on, let me get on the other side. Actually, if I turn this off, will it be better? No. So, here's E soon, right up here, by my thumb. So, Amatanasu and Sakuya. And I'm assuming the red sun is like the red sun of Orochi. I need to actually play Okami to fully to fully understand if the red sun is supposed to mean specifically Orochi or if that's supposed to be like Amaterasu's son. Not Amaterasu's Chibitur not Amaterasu's son Chibitarasu. Guys Everybody fucked for Go Okami then. Can you believe it? It's done! Well, mostly. I got hang-up stuff. It's done, though! Grabbing things that I think can be hung from walls, and then that's it. There's only one more thing I think I can do before all is officially done. Trico from that hook. Froki from this hook. Froki down a little bit of dust on him. Cyndaquil. Oh, Cyndaquil, where can I put you? You're the last thing I have to hang. Oh, no, I'm not going to hang it up. Let's see. So I'm just going to grab a small pile of stuff, throw it in the corner. Call it the overflow corner. So 
one of those chilipas dudes over there. All right. Oh. This is the thing I was trying to find last night to show you guys. Uh, this is actually, back when we didn't do white elephant, we just did, we actually tried to target specific people. This was uh, what I got for Secret Santa one year. It's a light, it's a lighter clay, but it's a light clay molding of Mimikyu. seen the wall scrolls that's like the last major thing I did now you're gonna have to come with me so you can see a whole new world of possibilities the final reveal the reveal trailer of Casa del Scooter for the next who knows how many years so this is right behind the desk where you got where you guys can see into my world that's right up behind you the desk that's like the first thing you see when you walk in the room is this parish poster right next to my computer. And of course I had to hang Yang from that poster. Link Between Worlds right above where I always look for games. Uh, in that corner we got the Rosalina Smash poster. Right next to the wall there is probably, uh, sorry it's hard to do this. Uh, Come on, work with me. So this poster up here is probably one of my, is, it's like my third favorite poster I've got. So that's why it's even up. And of course, I had to put all my Fooly Cooly love right underneath it. Um, this wall, can I get enough pull? Kind of. This wall is every single one of my boxed amiibos. And I left room for a future boxed amiibos. Uh, back wall back there, which I can't get any further where I am right now, but... Uh, that huge white rectangle is a still from Meet the Devil Man from Team Fortress 2. There is a Hylian shield and a replica Master Sword back there. Around the corner is my bed, but now... Hwacha! Quick, quick move. But then we have the partitions that separate my, uh, basically my room from the uh, clay area, we'll say. The shelf of Amiibo and and mostly hard gaming collectibles. Oh god, it's hard for me to... I'm having trouble, I apologize. And then the corner of It Don't Fit. And then all my DVD stuff. And then the shelf of the shelf of Pelo, of Senor Pelo. It's Pelo! I can't get my voice that high unless I actually have build up. But this has, uh, I forgot to pull an NES game out. Hold on, we're gonna do this. You get to stare, you get to stare at Yomu for a minute. Okay, stop staring at Yomu, she's getting uncomfortable. So, that shelf is all of my games. Uh, this one that you can't quite make out over here. 
That's Tomba. That disc is Tomba. And then, let's see. So, starting at the top, it's Switch with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Collector's Edition. And right next to that is the Dark Horse in, uh, Zelda Encyclopedia. NES games, Super Nintendo games, with a couple of Japanese games and PlayStation 1 games, and a couple of Sega Genesis games. Uh, Xbox 360 titles with my Game Boy Advance SP just chilling up front. PlayStation 2 games with my N64 games nestled right next to them. Down here, again, this is hard for me to do because I have to go backwards for a lot of it. So that's sh this shelf is Wii games. Two posters I forgot to hang up, so I'm going to do that my own time. But I'm just going to hang them up on uh, this side of this. It's, uh, it's, uh, Meltan. It's Meltan and, uh, Tem the Temi poster. I'm just going to use some 3M double side tri strips put up there afterwards. But Wii U. Down here, we've got GameCube. DS games. And then the adventure continues. Ready for another spin? Spin move! I covered it up. Damn it. Green screen. So, down there is all my 3DS games with my 2DS recording system and my uh, th 3DS XL. Spare controllers, spare wall plugs, all that stuff. Uh, Genesis and my vlogging camera and my uh, tablet. An Atari and a bunch of the uh, handheld but still fully fledged consoles sitting there. Uh, on the shelf, the shelf they're on, got some select amiibo pulled aside along with my Smash CD. Uh, Fish. Fish is right there. Over here is where I've got controllers and all the wires I need to hook up sitting around. And the computer that makes, that makes all the magic happen. My computer desk, which is always going to be messy just because I thro throw everything on my computer desk. We got the Wii. The Wii and the GameCube are down here. The PlayStation 2 and Wii U are, are over here. The Dreamcast, the N64, spare location for if I put another console or I need to move some games in there or something like that. Xbox 360. And that's it. You guys have now been toured of the whole room. Ah! I stepped on a Minecraft. So here comes the fun part of our endeavor. A. So, first things first. I'm going to put all this Minecraft stuff in a bag. Because I'm giving it to my nephews. I do not want this in my place anymore. Minecraft is not my thing. And the collectibles I've, I've gotten over the years is a whatever. So they get all this Minecraft stuff, which they can have fun with. I think that's kind of an oxymoron, considering I still have like a redstone block sitting up in the tower of uh, Amiibo and solid gaming goods. So that'll sit here, and hopefully I remember to pick it back up. So the other thing we have to we get to do tonight while I've got you here is I want to put myself roughly where I'm going to sit when I play games for you guys. We get to do this live where I set up the green screen. The green screen time. So turn on the filters. Now the crop may be different. Uh, crop is It'll be different. So left. Yeah, I want. I want more. I should actually move this aside because of how I'm doing this. Okay. I want more on the left to be visible. Kind of like this ish. Well, let's see, where am I going to sit? I guess over here. So let's just go zero. And I guess right I have to pull in.
I guess it's not updating on your guys' end at all, is it? Don't worry, I can see exactly what I'm looking at. Okay, that's about what I want there. Yeah, da -da -da -da. Okay, that's what I want. And then we get to flick on the chroma key. Boop. It's already working. All right. Now, here's the fun part is A, I have to move my exercise equipment for this, for this to work. Ah, yeah. I'll probably exercise right next to the shelves. Maybe not, but well, we'll see what happens. But we have to set up the new green screen. And let me tell you, let me tell you, Boyo, it'll be one heck of an endeavor. Uh, oh, wow, that. What's stable like that? Not really, so we'll let it. Actually, it can be. So we'll tighten this. There. So welcome to how to set up a green screen. It's not, this is not a good 101, but this is a good place to start. Can I turn this at all? I can. All right, anyway, leave it up. So up she goes. Now, because of how we have it all set up, if I wish to, I can have this be at the top. Now let's hope I don't break this green screen. Guys, Jesus, the popo. Green screen! Haha! -ha! I now have a hole in me. Woo! Oops. <laughs> you guys may have gotten assaulted by my green screen. I don't think it likes you. All right, that's official. I no longer have to use a green screen when I stream. I'm gonna use a green screen when I stream. God damn it. Stupid Okami Den Pen. Hold on, I have to sit down. Get reorganized and get reconstituated where I'm gonna be. Cause I'm extra like this. So sit like this. Microphone head oh. Oh I tried to unturn I tried to Oh my. This probably sounds amazing by the way. Okay. So that's probably about where I'm gonna sit for everything. This is too close. It may still have to be close. So I could do a blue screen. Let me bring this in. Okay, so I was a little worried about this, but I guess I'm gonna have to hang it up sideways and move it closer. down first. Welcome to setting up a green screen. It's uh, glamorous. Incredibly glamorous. Alright, now I gotta bring this down so I can actually get at it. And I can adjust it as needed in a, in a minute. I can't see what I'm doing. Can't see what I'm doing. Just stay there for a second while I get her off.
Uh, that's kind of good. Almost. Almost. Alright. So, personal life wise, I do need to get another light to make that work better for the background. But personal life wise, I do have to take down the screen screen every single time I am done with it. But that's probably the setup. This actually, wow, this actually is better than my other apartment because I actually have room. But yeah, every time I'm done streaming, pretty much, I have to now take down the screen screen. So how's it look on webcam mode? Like this. Surprise! The background behind us this whole time was Pokemon Gold! Am I incredibly, uh, am I incredibly loud? Hopefully I'm not. So hey, look at that. Well guys, the adventure's over. For the most part, I, I take out garbage and hang up those last two posters, which I'll do really quick here while you're still here with me. I'll do it really quick here. I'll do the garbage in my own time because you don't need to sit around and watch me do garbage. Although, we're all we're pretty much we're gonna be like within 10, 15 minutes of being done for tonight, and then unless something drastically changes, I don't think I'm gonna shoot for streaming tomorrow night, just because I've streamed. I've streamed on Sunday, tried to on Monday, but I still unpack stuff on Monday, but I crashed otherwise. I streamed really long yesterday, and I've streamed for a decent amount of time again today. So I think I'm gonna skip tomorrow and Friday and come back at, on, on Saturday for, if I don't have Luigi's Mansion 3 yet, we'll do more indivisible. If I have Luigi's Mansion 3, I may need time to record Luigi's Mansion 3 video for myself, and then I might stream it for you guys. Huh. Guys, it feels good to be done. It feels really good to be done. Like... I'm done. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so elated right now. Also, I gotta see. Filters. What if I turn off the crop? What happens? Oh, yeah, God. You can see the fish over there. Fish in frame. Fish in frame. Fish in frame. Okay. So... The last two posters we get to hang up here tonight with some of these 3M command strips. Is, and I'm just gonna use one for each. I'm just gonna use one of these for each because if I change my mind or get something else I wanna put up there, I can easily change it out. This all came together so nice. I love how this all looks. But the, the extra bookshelf over here, for, separate for my games and separate for my Amiibo, makes everything so much better and so much less cluttered. Uh, Link, Link's pants are missing. Oops. How lewd, Link. So anyway. So we're going to put up... Uh, wall side. So, 
first poster I'm going to put up. It's probably going to green screen it to be funny. But. Tem. Tem is going up first. Now if you ever want to use these things. Leave an, an unhealthy amount of the tab out. You will save yourself so much time. I'm. Oh it is my mouth still. Just trust me. Yeah, Mama Jelly's probably dealing with some more family drama, knowing knowing her. Not to be mean, but I feel like that's what would be happening with her right now. Push. Oh, I can move my book back. Because my speaker situation didn't work out, I can put my book back. Alright. And far if you've seen this one in person, but the other thing that's going up is the nut boy. Hi Nara, you're back. Nara missed the tour. So yeah, we're putting up the good nut boy. Fighting gold. Hmm. Yep. Alright, you have been seen the attempt. I forget how long I've known you sometimes. But yes, the green screen is up. That was the last thing we needed to do, was put up the green screen. Listen, Farf, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. But yeah, that was it. But Nara, I think the only thing you you didn't you missed well, you missed only missed a handful of things. You missed You missed the after I got done putting away the games, I hung up the rest of the uh boxed amiibo on my wall. Which they're all just over here off screen. I'm not gonna move the camera anymore because I've got everything set up perfect for green screen stuff. It's uh well, let me look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41 boxes of Amiibo. Yeah, 41 boxes of Amiibo that are going to live up there in the wall just on push pins. Um, well, I have to take it down anyway for, I have to take it down anyway so I can actually function in my room. So, let me pop open the filters. Oh, maybe you won't be able to see it. <sighs> but... Your nap. We're done. 
So you can not, you could probably not see it too well, but here's the two wall scrolls, Nara, that I think I mentioned last time you were here. This one's a Samurai Jack one, which you can, what you can see is Aku just off frame. And this one is pretty obvious. This one is Okami. Uh, just off frame above Okami's nose is Isun. And just and up here where my hand is is Sakuya. So that's it. We're done. We're complete, boys! Don't ask what this is. <sighs> I am so late to be done with all this. Hmm. <sighs> now... I'm going to be done here. As I predicted, it was going to be up another 15 minutes or so. <sighs> well, did anybody have any questions they wanted to ask me before I close everything up tonight? Thank you. If any of the archives are anything to go by, I've spent... I've spent about 14 hours, yeah, 14 hours doing all this. At some point, Nera. Wait. Hold, fo hold phone. I have to make sure I don't get the games wrong, by the way. Wow. Nera actually asking me Nera actually asked me when I'm gonna play Berseria when I'm staring at Vesperia in my Switch library. Wow, not a true fan of Tales of Vesperia. I see how it is. Nera's a fake fan of Vesperia. Got him? Got him? Freaking got him? Anyway. It'll be at some point. Um, just repeating it because a lot of people showed up just in the last minute or so here. So I'm going to repeat this. Um, I'm not going to stream tomorrow. Excuse me. I'm not going to stream tomorrow. Simply because I've streamed effectively the last four days straight doing all this. And I'd like a couple nights after work just to relax for a change. Uh, I think there's plans for me and my friends to go see a UFC fight Saturday night. So, if I don't have Luigi's Mansion 3 by Saturday, I'll play Born Indivisible Saturday afternoon. There's something in between my teeth. I'll play. I'll try and play Louis, uh, try and play more Indivisible Saturday afternoon. If I have Luigi's Mansion 3 and I've done my Think Fast video on it, I will. We will start up. Uh, a little after, probably like a little bit into the first chapter of Luigi's Mansion 3. Unless you guys prefer Indivisible, because I know a lot of people don't like being spoiled on Luigi's Mansion 3. But I'll, ru I'll run a poll on Saturday. How about that instead? I'll run a poll Saturday morning or Saturday close to noon. And we'll let everybody decide at that point. Now I'm going to take Thursday and Friday. Like I said, I'm going to take Thursday and Friday. I'm a chill. I'm a vibe. 
I don't think I recorded this entire stream at all. I'm going to have to download from Twitch. Oops. <sighs> Hit up that nice crispy guitar. All right. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging high and dry for the evening. I will get you guys over to over to someone. Uh, over to someone else for. You know, this stuff. Uh, I might take Thursday and Friday and just record because I do have to recover. I do have to recover a side project that I lost four hours of recording on because, it, it, yeah. I can't even tell you what the side project is without spoiling what happened with it. And somebody on Twitch has broken street date. I see someone streaming Luigi's Mansion 3 right now. Oh boy. Anyway, enough on that. I actually don't have anybody for us to go raid tonight. So either auto host will pick up, uh, we'll pick up somebody. I'm will either pick up somebody or you guys can go off and have fun with whoever you want to go watch next. I'm gonna go get dinner, and I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. So, thank you all so much for all of you who've tuned in for any part of this whole moving fiasco. Just chatting is a fun thing to be in. It's it's really kind of, this this just chatting thing is nice to be in, but I would I think I would have to set up something to like like set up a long list of things to actually do the talking within because I can't if you couldn't tell I'm not a very good conversationalist at times. I follow up conversations I don't lead them. Anyway, you folks have a great night. I'm gonna go make some chicken. <laughs>